I'm Warren Miller, the Director of Sales and Marketing at Paradise Energy Solutions. And my name is Charles Fox, the Vice President of Sales and Marketing. And today we're going to talk about whether or not batteries make sense, when to add batteries to your solar system, and some of the pros and cons about batteries and solar. So Charles, bottom line, do batteries make sense with solar? So it really depends on what you're trying to accomplish. So batteries typically are used for battery backup in residential situations. So if you're looking to back up, uh, say when the power goes down, adding a battery or battery system to your project may be an option for you to consider. When would you consider it? If I was installing a system at my home or my business, should I do batteries then and there when they do the installation? Could I do it down the, uh, a few years down the line? Yep. Uh, what are my options? Yeah, so you could add a battery system really at any point. So you could do it on the initial install, uh, or you could add batteries to an existing solar project that you already have. The neat thing is your panels are producing DC current, your batteries are, are going to be DC, so therefore the compatibility of, of sol uh, solar and a battery uh, go hand in hand together. So whether you add it at the beginning of the install or after you have a project, it really comes down to how much maybe you can afford or how much you want to spend. Sure, sure. Tell me, what can I expect out of my batteries? So battery technology is still being developed. This is 2019 and there's a lot of advancements in battery. Uh, I will say, Warren, there is a little bit of a mis misconception of how much a battery can produce. Uh, for instance, if you have, say, uh, a home and your, your average electric bill is $150 a month and you want to back up that whole load, you're going to need a significant battery, uh, a significant size of a battery and it's gonna cost you uh, quite a bit. So typically where we see battery backup systems, you're gonna be backing up a few lights, maybe you know, critical loads such as a refrigerator, uh, you know, maybe if there's a, a heat pump, but even that you know, is gonna draw quite a bit of power. So it's basically to keep the lights on, maybe charge something, keep the refrigerator, the, the freezer going, uh, but to do a whole battery backup system is, is going to be uh, something that uh, is going to be expensive. So some of the benefits of, of a battery is that in those critical moments when the power goes out, you can run your refrigerator and keep your food still refrigerated. Right. right. But what are some of the downsides of batteries? So a downside to a battery today is the maintenance that's going to be required. So they're going to cycle on and off and they only have so many times that they can cycle effectively. Uh, and typically what we're seeing today is that in a 10 year period or 10 years from now, your battery will be 60% as efficient as it was in year one. Uh, so that's something c to consider. What you're saying is uh, the batteries will, I'll need to look to replace those in about six to 10 years from the time I install them? The batteries we're installing today, yes, Warren. Okay. There's gonna be a lifespan that's gonna, you're looking at six to 10 years. So batteries, while they give you that peace of mind when the power goes out, are expensive, require maintenance, and require replacement over a shorter lifetime than the solar system itself. Yeah, and I, I don't like that word expensive because often, you know, talking about a, a cost I already have, yeah. uh, we don't view that as expensive, but then when we go to purchase something up front, we call it expensive. So it's really down to the individual. Uh, how much is it worth to me to back up my loads? How much of my loads do I want to back up? And, uh, and then how much do I want to spend? Sure. And so, you know, if, if you have the ability to spend the money to back up your whole house with a battery, uh, go for it. 